In today's video, I'm going to be covering exporting your collection and printing it. It's a very simple process. Once you log into Libid, you'll be taken to your library page. From here, you'll click on Settings in the left sidebar. You'll be taken to the Collections tab, and beneath this, you'll find an option called Export Collection Data. Here, you can select between any of your collections. I'm going to choose a collection called My Books, and I'm going to click Export. It should download a CSV file. CSVs can be opened in spreadsheet software or, or, or other third-party applications. Depending on the browser you're using, the file may go to a different location. Mine conveniently goes down here in the bottom left corner. Once I have my file, I'm going to head to Google Sheets. I've already logged in and I'm ready to start a brand new spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on blank. Once the spreadsheet loads, I can go to File and Import. It's going to give me a lot of options, but I want to upload my CSV file. So I'm going to click on it and drag and drop into the file uploader. Once it's ready, it'll allow me to import the data. Now that my data has been imported, I can go to File, Print, and it's going to let me set up my print. I like to make a couple changes. I want to make my margins narrow. I also like to hide my grid lines. Once I'm ready to go, I'll click Next, and your printer dialog will appear, and you'll be ready to print. Some of you may prefer to use uh, Microsoft Excel, so I've gone ahead and set that up as well. Here I've already imported my file. You can see it's all the same data, but you might notice that the ISBN 13 column is actually showing in scientific numbers. That happens, Excel by default will convert large numbers to scientific format, but we can fix that. If we haven't saved the file yet, we can right click or we can click on the column to select the entire column and then right click, go to Format Cells. You wanna click on Number and then you wanna set the decimal places to zero. Click OK. This will bring back all of our normal ISBN 13 barcodes. If you've already saved while this was set to scientific number, Excel will throw out all of the barcode information that was hidden and you'll need to download a fresh export file. Once you're ready to go, you'll follow the same process where you go to File and Print on your computer and follow the prompts.